okay guys welcome to this tutorial video and in this tutorial video we're going to be looking at um, a quick demonstration of the padding oracle attack so here I'm using this um, pen tester lab uh, padding oracle vulnerable application and the goal the objective of this exercise is to find a way to get logged in as a uh, user admin so to start we need to create a user by registering and then logging in and then jump into how to conduct this exploit. So first and first, I'm gonna log in. Um, I'm gonna register. So I'm just gonna create a user called Alex. And password is Alex1234, Alex1234, and register. So it says you're currently logging in as Alex. Okay, but the objective, remember, is to log in as a user called admin okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out um, I'm going to then go to settings so click on login here I'm going to go into my settings or preferences advanced on the network go to settings and then manual proxy configuration 1270.0.1 on port 8080 and click OK. I'm just going to fire up Burp suit. Probably need to update my Burp suit, but I think it's fine for this exercise. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use a burp suit as a proxy to intercept the, um, the login credentials. So we're going to proxy, make sure intercept is clicked is on, intercept is on, go back to the web application and try to log in again as the user we created earlier, which is Alex and password. Alex1234, click on login. I'm going to see Burp has intercepted the, the traffic. So we got the username and password. So what I'm going to do is right click and send this to repeater. Intercept off, go on to the repeater tab and forward this. So I click it on go. And we've got a response. And we can see uh, from the response, we got an, uh, an authentication cookie, which is what we were going to be using for this attack. And I'm still logging as a user called Alex in here so i'm just going to go into my root directory cd tools and i've got the um, pad buster you can download this on github cd to this clear screen and then we've got the pad buster perl script so you can start with perl and see the options. So having a quick look at the options, this is the parameter we need, the URL, the encrypted data, and then the block size, and then any other options. So we put that in here, and the first thing is the the authentication cookie. So we copy this out. No, before then, sorry, before then is the um, login page. So, what we need to give it is the login page, so copy that. So, this will be login.php because uh, if we go back to Burp Suit, let's have a look at the history here. The login is where the um, the credentials were actually sent on the traffic, so that's the one we're going after. The login the PHP. So put in login the PHP, and then going to back to repeater the authentication cookie. Copy that. 
the next thing we put in here. And then the block side, normally this would be eight or you could use eight or 16. So we'll give that there. We use uh, cookie, cookies, the cookies parameter. Then go back to burp and copy all of this, including the alt equals. I think we need that's everything we need. So I'm just going to click on enter and have um, it do it. So we've got a funnel responses and signatures. So we've got one and two. It says the recommended value is two. We click on two. I'm just going to give it to exploit this. Right, so it's finished and said, you can see here, we didn't, when we did this initially, we didn't tell Padbuster who the user was, but it's actually decrypted a cookie and tells us the user is Alex and also gave us the decrypted values in X. So this is the parameter, the same parameter we're going to use in order to um, log in and get the cookie for the um, user called admin. What we need to do here is use the plain text parameter and say user equals admin. And let it do the process all over again. Number two. Okay, so it's decrypted the value, and this is the value we've got for the admin. So we're just going to copy that. And then if we go back to burp, um, we go back to proxy. Okay, so we go on to the parameters, and we can see here, we've got the cookie here. So what I'm going to do is um, go back to repeater, okay. So let's go back in here, let's log out, log in again as Alex, Alex1234, go back to burp, proxy, intercept, Intercept on. Log in. Okay, so we can see here. And if we look at this, we can see we've got the values for for the um, for the user. So what we could do here is we could click on add. Or I'll just remove that first. So we go back to raw, send this to repeater. Go to parameters, click on add, and then we could have cookie. Let's make this bigger. I think this is what I'm missing here. So I'm just going to edit this. Put in cookie here. Um, so in the body here, we make a cookie. Here we change this to alt. 
and then here is where we put in the value we copied. So I'm just going to use Ctrl V and paste that in. Okay, and we're just going to, so this is all set, so we're just going to then forward this. Okay, and if we could see we forwarded that, and I click on forward again. And you can see we're logged in as user admin. Okay. And that explains it. So you can see it says here you're logged in as user admin and the objective of the exercise is completed. So I hope that explains how the Padden Oracle attack works. Thanks for watching.